What is an autonomous vehicle? I'm Tom Gegus, AutoVista 24 journalist, here with your handy what is definition. Now autonomy is hitting headlines like never before, making its definition increasingly important. Some might think of an autonomous vehicle as a self-driving car, one capable of driving itself and its passengers from point A to point B all on its own. However, things are rarely that simple. In fact, vehicle autonomy is a concept with many, many levels. But not to worry, we're going to break these levels down. Now, Engineering Association, SAE International, sets out six levels of automation. Level zero means features only provided warnings and momentary assistance. For example, automatic emergency braking or blind spot warnings. Level one systems allow for steering or braking acceleration support. For example, lane centering or adaptive cruise control. Level two means steering and brake and acceleration so lane centering and adaptive cruise control. These first three levels means you are in charge of driving, even when these features are engaged. They are what SAE call driver support systems. So basically, constant supervision is required. Now, on SAE's next three groupings, more control is handed over to the vehicle. These features are labeled automated driving systems. This being said, at level three, you must drive when the vehicle requests you to do so. That means being alert, able to take back control at any time. Like with a traffic jam chauffeur, for example. As a level four, these systems can drive the vehicle under limited conditions. They will not operate unless all of the conditions are met. So think of local driverless taxis, for example. Like at level five, these features will not require you to take over. This sets level four and five apart from level three. Now what puts level 5 on a pedestal is that it can drive everywhere in any conditions, unlike any of the other systems. But why is there a need for such great clarity and a defined hierarchy of different automated systems? Well, in recent years there has been a great deal of confusion and conjecture around what constitutes an autonomous vehicle. In 2020, Tesla was banned from using its adverts in Germany that reference its autopilot systems as a fully autonomous driving experience. In 2021, a UK government proposal attracted criticism for considering automated lane keeping systems as self-driving. So with this comprehensive definition, SAE wants to give consumers a better understanding of when they must remain in control and when they can let onboard systems do the work for them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Are there any other automotive terms you'd like us to define? Then go ahead and leave a message in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.